The specs of the Alienware AW2523HF are comparable to those of other 24.5-inch 1080p 360Hz IPS monitors on the market right now. There is just one noteworthy distinction. Unlike many rivals, the monitor officially supports AMD FreeSync Premium Pro, but not NVIDIA G-Sync. In this video, we will be going over the distinctions that set this monitor apart from others in the market right now, and the efficiency you can expect from it. Also, details about the products we speak about will be linked down in the description. Starting with the design of this monitor by Alienware, the legend design language from Alienware is still the best in the monitor industry. Curved surfaces, a subdued use of accent materials, and a retro-futuristic font on the monitor's back are what define it. Although some rivals, such as Samsung and Asus, have recently improved their design game. Naturally, aesthetics are a personal choice, so you may have differing views, but the build quality of the Alienware is objective. The robust plastic used to construct the monitor have a subtle but superior texture. There are no odd creaks when handling the monitor and the panels never bend when it's being adjusted or moved. The monitor is driven by an upstream USB-B port. It features a four-port USB hub with one port offering battery charging power delivery. The lower region of the monitor has two of the four USB ports which makes connecting a wired mouse or keyboard simple. They are joined by a convenient 3.5mm headphone jack. This is a significant benefit over the majority of gaming monitors. Usually competitors with 360 hertz bandwidth only provide two USB ports and those ports are harder to reach but there are no USB-C ports on this monitor. Although more basic, the video connectivity is sufficient. It has one DisplayPort 1.4 port and two HDMI 2 ports. The majority of gaming monitors have an average of three video inputs. Even though the monitor does not have an integrated KVM for sharing peripherals across all connected devices, it is still possible to connect two game consoles and a gaming PC at the same time or multiple PCs. Coming to the image quality and gaming experience on this monitor, the most prominent issue is contrast or rather the absence of it. The maximum recorded contrast ratio for the monitor was 1270 to 1. While not terrible for a low-cost IPS gaming monitor, it still falls well short of the practically infinite contrast ratio that an OLED gaming monitor can attain. Shadowy scenes frequently lack detail and appear flat and washed out. In some games, the issue issue is serious. Games such as Resident Evil Village and Diablo 4 appear a little hazy in the dark and the shadow detail is mashed into a lackluster gradation. Movies and streaming content both have a tendency to present information in a darker manner than games, thus it is evident that they lack contrast. On the other hand, even before calibration, the Alienware monitor produces a vivid, color-accurate image right out of the box. The monitor achieves a powerful 381 nit peak brightness. Although this monitor does not support HD more expensive models can achieve a higher maximum brightness. Nevertheless, it is more than suitable for its intended use and holds up well against similarly priced gaming monitors, which typically have a maximum brightness of between 300 and 400 nits. Additionally, the monitor boasts a strong anti-glare coating. The monitor can display the whole sRGB color gamut and has outstanding color accuracy. This is significant because in contrast to a wider, more vibrant color gamut like DCI-P3 or Rec 2020, the majority of SDR games aim for the sRGB color gamut. Since the Alienware lacks HDR compatibility, as most similar 360 hertz and higher monitors do, the sRGB performance is even more important. It works well with vibrant, quick-paced action games. Additionally, it features night vision, clear vision, and chroma vision modes that adjust the image by enhancing contrast and illuminating dark regions of the screen. Additionally available is an on-screen crosshair overlay, which is another typical addition to gaming monitors. Overall, you will be able to achieve extremely good gaming results out of this monitor except for some darker titles. In conclusion, this monitor is worth it. In terms of contrast, color gamut, and color accuracy, it performs better than its competitors and stands out thanks to its unique design, which makes it more durable and aesthetically pleasing. It also features four USB-A ports, two of which are conveniently located, and a small stand with plenty of ergonomic adjustments. If this monitor, however, does not cater to your interest in playing games that give you a proper experience, experience in contrast ratio, then check out the video on the Samsung Odyssey Neo G8 gaming monitor that might meet your expectations.